How to withdraw MetaMask crypto into your bank or PayPal account. Quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can withdraw your MetaMask money or MetaMask crypto into your bank account or into your PayPal account. Now, Oftentimes, people can feel a bit confused. They have their crypto holdings in their MetaMask account and you don't understand how you can actually withdraw this money into your actual PayPal or bank account. So I find a lot of beginners get confused and you are looking for a solution. So don't worry, it's very simple and easy and it's just a simple way where it's just overlooked. Often people just don't think about this way to transfer their money. However, it is not directly from metamask so you can't actually directly click on send on metamask and send it to your actual bank account or paypal account you actually have to create a account on a marketplace so a marketplace like coinbase finance or any other crypto exchange so that is what you need to do you need to create your account on your crypto exchange or crypto marketplace whatever you might want to call it and that is something you need to do now it's very likely that if you have a metamask account you probably do have a binance or coinbase or any other crypto marketplace account whatever marketplace or exchange you have used previously you can simply use that to get your money into your bank or paypal account and all you have to do is you're just going to go into your Binance wallet and from your wallet, you can just go into your overview. So you're just going to head on over to your Binance wallet overview. From here, you can simply click on deposit and then you're just going to scroll down and you can see on the top you have crypto deposit. Now, once you do that, you can select the coin that you want to get deposited and the specific network and then you're going to click on get address. And then you're just going to click to copy. Now, make sure that the coin that you are selecting is the one that you have in your MetaMask account. So in MetaMask, let's say my MetaMask is currently on Ethereum and I am on the Ethereum mainnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting Ethereum as the coin. And then you're going to select whatever chain you want. I want to be on the Ethereum chain. So you're just going to copy this address. And once you have copied this address, you're going to go into MetaMask. You're going to click on send. And then you're going to paste the address that you just got from Binance. And once you have done that, you can just enter the amount you want to transfer. And once you have done that, your money will be transferred onto your Binance account. So that is the first step of getting your cryptocurrency into your bank or PayPal. You simply go into your crypto wallet on your Binance or Marketplace account, go into the deposit section and get this address from the specific coin that you want to deposit. And once you copy this address, put it in MetaMask, you're just going to get or the amount of funds, whatever you listed, sent to your Binance account. Now, from Binance, what you're going to do, once you have it in Binance, you can actually withdraw it to your specific bank account or PayPal account. So if you actually just click on withdraw over here, you can see the currency that you want to withdraw to and you can simply uh, go with a bank transfer or go with a bank card. Then you also have other payment methods like a add cash bank account. So you can choose that as well if you want to do that. And if you click on withdraw crypto on the top right over here, which you actually will have, and you will be able to withdraw it to your Binance card or a, any other Binance account or bank account of your choice. Then if you go into your crypto wallet and you just click on transfer, then you can simply transfer your money or your crypto Ethereum into a spot or fiat, which is more easier to transfer. So once you trade, you know, trade your Ethereum from MetaMask onto your Binance account, you're going to convert that Ethereum into USDT or USDC and then simply click on withdraw over here and you can withdraw your cryptocurrency directly to your bank account or to your bank address. So that is going to be a simple way that you can get your money out of your bank account or out to your PayPal or bank account from metamask now it's simple and easy and you don't necessarily need to have finance for this 
any crypto exchange will do this function and you can withdraw into any bank card now you can see that the crypto withdrawal is currently suspended on binance you can see over here and that is something that you need to keep in mind if crypto withdrawal is temporarily suspended simply convert your ethereum into fiat as i was saying fiat meaning usdt usdc any kind of spot or fiat just convert it into spot or fiat and once you have it in spot and fiat you can simply withdraw your fiat directly to your bank card or to paypal so that is how simple it is now this is just for metamask there are multiple other crypto wallets you can see we have phantom over here we have nami and depending on what kind of cryptocurrency you hold you might be holding money in other crypto wallets and the method for you to be able to withdraw it into your bank account or paypal account is pretty much the same so even if you're on any other blockchain like phantom you're using solona you can simply click on send enter the wallet address and then once you do that you can simply get it in your crypto exchange account and then from your crypto exchange account convert it into spot or fiat and once you have it in fiat you can withdraw it to your bank account or paypal account so this is not only applicable for metamask but any other crypto wallet as well and if you are looking to get your nft earnings a lot of people go on OpenSea, and a lot of people are able to earn on OpenSea. you get your money into your crypto wallet and they don't understand how to withdraw that money then in that case you might actually not have a binance account so make sure you have your identity verification ready because to create a binance account you will have to verify your identity so that is something you should keep in mind when you are looking to build your account on a crypto exchange you will have to identify with your national id card or a visa or a driver's license just so Binance can verify your identity and that goes for all of the crypto exchanges almost on any crypto exchange you do have to verify your identity so for you to be able to withdraw from your crypto account you do need a verified account on a crypto exchange as well so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.